Hello everyone, welcome once again. In this video, I'll share with you a brand new version of GCAM. Well, it's the MGC A.6 263A11 V6. It's the latest modification of GCAM A.6 from BSG. So, let's try this out. Download process is same as always. Just open the link and click on the package name and it will start to download automatically. Now, let's install the GCAM and open it first allow the permissions so the first thing that you will notice in the latest 8.6 version is that the interface is different than previous versions although we could switch to this new interface in older versions by changing the interface model but it is now by default here so that's a good thing in this new interface the menu button is now on the top left corner where before it used to be in the middle now if you swipe down or click on the menu button we can access some quick tools and settings like AWB on off buttons, SGR model control, SGR frame selection, timer, flash, and lastly the aspect ratio buttons. In my testing, I have noticed that this GCAM most of the time produces more natural looking photos if we turn on the AWB. But if the AWB is turned off, then you will get a little bit saturated and cooler color tone. So it's totally up to you whether you want to use it or not. But AWB gives better skin tone and night photos for sure. Now for better dynamic range, it is recommended to use SGR plus enhanced and you can set the SGR frames by using plus minus buttons. You can go as high as 30 frames but it will take longer time to capture and process the photo so keep it auto or under 15. Same for the portrait mode but you can also control the intensity of face retouching aka beauty mode. Now in the night sight mode we have a little bug with the manual focus buttons. If we first turn on the astrophotography mode and then try to change the focus selection, it just wouldn't change. So in order to use the focus buttons, we need to select the focus first and then turn on the astrophotography mode. Normal video mode is also working. We can record in full HD resolution at auto 24, 30 or 60 frames per second. But in 4K we can record up to 30 FPS. 4K 60 FPS isn't working in my device but it may work in your. We also have some little uh, changes in the mode section. The buttons are now more easy to reach so these are pretty much all the changes in the viewfinder now let's check more settings from more settings we can access all the useful quick customization features like camera sound framing hints grid line etc so just customize them as you need in the advanced settings the options are same as older versions if you shoot raw photos then you can turn on it from here and by the way turn off the photography time lapse now coming back from advanced settings the only option left is the configuration of modes. From here we can change the interface model, hardware level and access deep customization settings of individual modules. From interface you can choose various pixel models but I wouldn't recommend you to mess around with them until a stable version comes. Now change the hardware level if the GCAM is behaving weirdly like lagging or freezing. Select it accordingly to the camera to be a level of your phone. Now let's open the back module option. The first thing we find here is the SGR model option. Just like SGR interface, we can choose various pixel models here too. But they are completely different from interface model in terms of their work. They affect the processing of the photos. So different SGR models will give different types of photos. But sometimes newer pixel models can cause color leakage issues. So I'd recommend you to try all the models up to pixel 5. But pixel 3 is just fine. Change the viewfinder format, camera to be level 3 phones should use EF and level 4 should use JPEG. From session ID, you can fix various issues of GCAM by giving proper operation mode values like fixing video mode or freezing viewfinder. There's a link in the description for OP mode values, so just check it out. If your photos are coming pink or giving wrong color, then try different color filter arrangement from Brillo. Now merge method is the process of checking or gluing multiple frames together. Different merge methods give different output. Basically it controls the noise and increases the details. In my testing I have found all the merge methods working but the server merge and special RGB gives best results so far. But then again any of them may not work in your phone so in that case just keep it default. Select Shasta 10 times, it's related to astrophotography. All the important parameters that affect the picture quality most are in the additional settings. We can increase or decrease the intensity of color from color correction. Noise and sharpness control parameters are in the filter settings. More detailed video on additional settings will come later. So for now, 
keep them as default but if you know what those parameters do then just set them as you need from video mode we can fix slow mo time lapse and higher fps video to fix them just give the proper session id or op mode values all the op mode values are given in the description so you can check them from there so that's all for today see you guys soon